looking uh, at you, you are no longer, you know, 30 years old or no, 40, no, no. But, but, but you're still working. How old are you, by the way? I'm over 60. And, and you're still working. Tell I'm, us about that. I'm still working and I'm, I'm still strong. It is that passion I talked about, passion to work. It's that passion to work. And that is what I said. There is no, you can change jobs, but not retire. Because when you retire, you are dead. A person who has retired has died. But when you are still alive and strong, do something else that can help this nation. So, so your transition now, you, you broadcast still, but how I understand it, you now broadcast in uh, a, a vernacular in, in language. Mother tongue, in, in the, mother tongue, in the Luo. In the Luo. How, 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 how's that switch been? Now, it was, it was okay because I, you know, just like what the Minister of Education is trying to in, reintroduce now, we, we learned, we were taught in the Luo from standard one to standard four. So that when you're going to stand to five now, they start teaching you either in Kiswahili or English. So when now I was switching from English to the Luo, I still had, I had no problem. And also even when, when I used to be around, when we used to have, uh, have some veteran Luo broadcasters like Cosma Tobala, Wade Kurgu, we used to learn a lot from him. So when now I came to the Luo, I didn't find any difficulty. But, but, that, but there is a difficulty, though, with regard to a lot of new ideas and concepts that are coming up that are not traditionally um, known in most of our local settings. So you could find modern words that uh, you probably don't have a ready word for in, in, in mother tongue. How does that work? No, we create. We create it in Doluo. And ask our people to accept it. Like, I started like Mbalarian, you know, that is university. Uh, like when AIDS came, I started it Ayaki. People accepted it. Uh, quite a number of words, like even the Golden Bug scandal. Aguchmula Marmi Badi, people accepted it. You know, I mean, you have to be creative. So, so how do you go about this? I mean, what are those rules that you apply for yourself to come up with a new word if it's something that doesn't exist? No, you have to, you have to master the language, know the language and how you can play about with, uh, with the creation of those words. At least something that if one listens to, it's, it's, it's near. They can infer what, what it means. It might mean. Exactly, you see. So, so do, you, do you find time to speak to maybe some old men who speak this language very well to just get the ideas on some things, to just you know, also to, to enrich your language? But let me tell you, like now, like now getting these older men who, who, who are very fluent in Luo is diminishing because most of them are, are going out, but there are some with whom we speak and all right, what do you think about this? I said, no, no, it's okay, we, 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 we can adopt it. And some of them we call, uh, they come through our programs. We have got a program which deals in, 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 in our language and then we discuss it. Then when, once they pass it, we start using it. When we start using it, we, we use it and then in bracket, we, 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 we insert English word. Yeah, the, the people, after they have known it now, we, we now remove the English word. Then we, we continue like that. Very, very interesting. So for Kenyans who have uh, known you for all these years, what is that one thing you want them to retain as their image of a Gaupa Tropas? What do you want them to continually remember you for? What, what I continually, what I want them to remember me for? Please, let us love our country. Whether anybody is seeing you or not, because your country is your country. I've been out of this country in so many countries, but still I remember Kenya and the people of Kenya. Kenyans are beautiful people. Kenyans are lovely people. They're welcoming people. And our country is a good country. You, in other countries, you could see even natural calamities are there. People don't love each other. Even countries where there are even fewer tribes,
Kenya, we have got all, over 42 tribes, but we love each other. Let us love our country. I want people to remember me with that one. Let us love each other, wherever we are. It's not a must you, you have to live near your tribe or talk with your tribe, no. Let us all be Kenyans and let us be together. Create peace wherever we are and let us help each other. That is what I'm really praying for and I want Kenyans to remember me for that one because we have got a beautiful country. This is a, it's, it's wonderful. Natural calamities we don't have. Uh, even the kind of politicians we have, Joe, we have got very good politicians. They just talk in public. They don't go and take arms. They just talk. They will abuse each other in public politics, but they will go back and eat together. That is the lovely part of it. We have got good politicians, good people, everybody. The country is good, climate is good, the surrounding is good, everything is good. That is my love, the love for this country. I would like people to continue with. Because you can see even in our neighboring country like Sudan, we, we have been calling it a province of Kenya. Just a small difference between politicians, they pick up arms and look at the number of people who have died because of just difference between two politicians. Kenya is unlike that one. They just talk, abuse each other, next time you find them eating together, which is very good. We commend Kenyan politicians for that. The country is peaceful and it should remain peaceful. Well, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes.